So in this demonstration, we're going to show you a little bit about deploying applications with roles in them into various instances. So in order to define a role, you can go into your application setting under user roles. You can create new roles that are VB app roles. So we're going to create two roles. One would be the AMP role, and the other one is going to be the manager role. All right. At this point of time, we can also map them to specific groups and users from the IDCS that we're working on. So I'm going to pick up um, the AMP and I'm going to add internal users as a group here. And I'm going to pick up the managers and I'm going to add administrators as a group here. Now those changes are done in VB and are kept in our code here. We have here a, role, a file called user roles. This is one of the files that will change. And over here you can actually see the roles that we defined and the mapping to groups. Now note that the ID here is the ID in IDCS of the specific group that we run. Right, so now let's commit those changes and push them into our repository. Right, so those changes have been pushed into the repository. If we'll go back to our project now, you would see that we have now started a job in our queue to package the application. And then the next step after the package is to do a deployment. I'm going to show you that the deployment job okay, is mapped to a specific environment, which is this instance over here. So this is our dev instance. This is the instance that we're working on. So while this is running, I'm going to go over to my environments and I'm going to add another environment. So this would be my QA environment. Okay. And I'm going to add a different instance. And this is not just a different instance. This is also a different tenancy. So we have a new instance over here, okay, and um, which is separate from the one that we have over here. Okay, so in our QA, we also want to deploy our application over there. So we're going to create another job. We'll call the, this one deploy to QA. We're going to copy the deployment from the regular one. And the difference is going to be in the configuration. In the step here, instead of deploying to this instance, we're going to deploy to this instance, okay, with its own username and password. All right. So we can see the first deployment succeeded. Now let's go and run the second deployment to our QA environment. So while this is running, I'm going to show you the IDCS instance associated with this tenancy. So this is the one over here. If I go over here right now and I would look at the application right now, there's 4,045 of them. If I go here and I look up anything that related to roles, right now there is just one other application that has roles in its name. So let's wait for the deployment to actually finish. So the deployment finished now, so we can go back to our IDCS instance and do another search. And now we can see the new application, the role sample over here. So we can click on this application and we would see 
that there are applications or AMP and manager. Now, as you can see, we don't have a mapping of those to any users or groups in IDCS because this is a new instance with a different set of um, roles and users here, okay? A different set of groups and users. So let's do some mapping here. We'll assign a group to the AMP. Let's, I assign the John ATP group, for example over here and uh, for the managers we can also assign a specific user we'll assign Abinav for example All right so we did this mapping over here now what happens when someone goes over and does a redeployment so let's go back to the application and we'll make some changes Close everything here and we'll open our settings, user roles, and we can make some changes here. Okay, so let's create another role. Call this one the mid manager role. Okay, although we can we can map another set of uh, group over here. And again, when I do this change, this changes things in this user roles. It defines the new role over here. And I can now commit those changes. Now that I'm right now working on main, so any change that I'm doing is immediately going to uh, start the build process. All right. So once we push it back into here, we're going to get again this scenario of the package job kicking off, picking up the changes and implementing them. Okay, and packaging the application. After that, we're going to get the deployment running for one environment, and then we're going to do the deployment to the other environment. And now let's run the deployment to our QA environment. Okay. So again, if we go back while it's running, we can go back over here. This is the state before the changes. So we have a manager, an employee. We mapped a user here and a group here. Okay. Let's go back to our applications. We'll wait for the deployment job here to finish. Right, the deployment to our environment finished, so we can go back here, look again for the roles application. Here's our role sample application. If we click on it now and go to application roles, we can see the mappings is still here, the mapping that we did before, and the new role is available here. So when you're doing a redeployment of an application to an instance, mappings of users and roles that is done through IDCS is going to be kept in place.